The shape editor will probably be your first port of call when generating reliefs. The icon for it is located in the top toolbar and the shortcut for it is F12. The shape editor allows you to create flat, domed or beveled reliefs. You can either do this by using a colour or as you can see here by using a closed vector. To create a flat or a relief that just goes up straight, all you need to do is enter the height that you would like it to be in the start height. Here I have entered a height of a quarter of an inch and you'll notice that it automatically generates the shape. This is a real time tool. So any changes that are made will be updated instantly. Although this is dependent on the graphics card that you have. A lower spec graphics card will mean that you will have to wait fractionally longer for the shape to generate. When creating a bevel or a dome shape, the angle can be changed in real time, also updating instantly. You can also add a start height to this to create a flat wall and then go into the bevel on top. These can also be limited to a height in order to create radius or chamfered edges. You will more than likely have noticed that whilst within the tool, all of the nodes from the selected vector are shown. The reason being is that this is a live tool, so you can select the node and move it. The shape editor will update in real time. When you have finished your design, it is important to select apply, otherwise you will lose any work that you have done whilst using the shape editor. To exit the tool, you can either select the cross at the top right of the dialog box or select cancel. As I mentioned earlier, you can also use colors to generate reliefs. Here you can see the same fleur de lis, but it has a red border around it. If I open the shape editor, you will see that there is a large red box with a line running through it. This is telling me that the shape editor is not using a vector, it is using the red color. If I double click on the white area in the 3D view, you will see that it will change to white. To switch back to red, I just need to double click on the red area and it will change back. The shape editor can now be used in the same way as shown earlier, but it will generate a relief based on the red color.